Hello, Frostbitten here. I wanted to get back into playing Warcraft 2 as well as doing some uh, audio commentaries, videos of me playing, um, shoutcasts of tournament games or whatever. Um, but I noticed when I was looking at my channel that there was no... Well, my channel and other people's Warcraft 2 channels. Is that there's no decent um, how to get started video for Warcraft 2. Like, how to, how to get the game, how to install it, how to set your computer up to run it. So I wanted to make that video for you guys, and this is for... This is for the people who played a long time ago and were interested in getting back in, as well as for new players, people who have never seen the game before. So there are um, a few steps that we have to go through, um, so I'd like to go through those one by one with you. I'll put an entire list of um, steps that I go through in this video down below. Um, hopefully I remember to add timestamps and stuff in there as well. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and look at this. So, um, first you'll need to download the client, and this is uh, done through this website server.war2.ru, link down below in the description. Uh, if you go to this page, you will get, uh, well, you will see this, and then you will go to downloads. And then I recommend downloading the latest version, so in this case version 4.01. Um, I actually already have this downloaded. Um, it will take a little bit to download because it is, you know, uh, like 23 megabytes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run this. Um, you can read this if you like, it's just all the different stuff. Um, I'm going to install this. I had it installed before. Um, uninstalled it, so now I'm going through the process again, so I'm just going to use that folder again. Um, and as you go through the installation process, you will come to this screen, the Select Components screen. A um, couple things I wanted to point out on the screen. One is um, the rewrite gateways. So when, if you are a StarCraft Brood War player, um, and still actively connect to uh, Battle.net East or West or whatever, um, this setting will modify the gateways that StarCraft Brood War will look at. So when you log back into StarCraft Brood War and try to connect to Battle.net, it won't be the initial option for you. You'll have to change it. And I'll show you that um, when we get into the, the Warcraft 2 client. Um, but with this checked, it will add uh, the current server that we are using in our community to play, so it's easy for you to hop on and start playing. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is this black to pink patch. Um, you can turn this on if you'd like. Some people consider it kind of like hacking the game, um, but mostly what it does is it converts the, the player who is the black character into a pink character, so it's easier to see them uh, on the minimap. So that that's all that does. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Yeah, having like not being able to see the little black dots and stuff can be a bit uh, a bit annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create that and create a desktop icon and I'll install this. Uh, so it should install pretty fast. It's not that complicated of a program. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and finish. Now, uh, before we actually open the game, I do want to show you guys how to update your router so you can actually host games um, and do all that stuff. So, um, what you'll need to do is connect to your router. Now, you'll only be able to connect to your router if you have administrative access to it um, and you're not behind any kind of additional routing mechanisms um, and other firewalls that might be blocking this traffic. Um, I'm going to be showing it for the Netgear Genie. I'm not sure what the WNR 2000 V3 is, but probably the software version or something. Um, and basically what you do is once you get logged in, you'll want to click on Advanced. Um, you'll probably be on the Basic tab to begin with. Oh, I guess I have to add my password again. Uh, put the wrong password. Yeah. Um, okay, so you'll go to Advanced, Advanced Setup, and then you want to go to Port Forwarding um, and Port Triggering. Um, 
mine was already set to port triggering, but if you're on port forwarding, you can just click this little input box here. And you should get a screen like this, but yours will, may or may not be empty. Probably will be empty. And you'll want to add a service and give it a name. So we'll call it Warcraft 2. Um, or you can call it whatever you'd like. And then you will have... Uh, we'll leave the service user as any service type as TCP and our triggering port is 6112 and then the starting point is the starting port is 6112 and the ending port is 6119 uh, basically what this allows us to do what, what this is doing is it's actually telling the router hey I'm going to be making outbound requests from port 6112 on your computer and I'll be expecting inbound connections from port well on port 6112 through 6119 for this particular service uh, and what that should allow you to do is host games and be able to join games without too much latency problems latency problems all these settings are going to be down in the description below um, with some kind of general tips on how to get your router to work. Your router might be a bit different. Um, if you'd like, you can put uh, questions down in the comments or go on to the Warcraft 2 forums to um, seek assistance in getting your router opened up. Okay, once you have that, you'll click Apply. As for me, I already have everything set, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, and you should see that in your list there, and then you just click apply there, um, and then we're done with that. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close these because we don't, we won't need those anymore. Now, um, in Warcraft 2, there are um, some kind of bug type issues um, with the colors and various other things. Um, the Warcraft 2 Combat Edition that we downloaded should fix most of those color issues with a, a thing that was put in by um, one of the members of the community. Um, but to guarantee that there won't be too um, many color issues going forward, um, there's a couple things you can do with your computer if you're on Windows 7. Um, one is to change the personalization to one of the high contrast. Um, so high contrast one, two, black, um, or white. Um, I usually choose contra high contrast black, uh, and that is helpful. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it does. I think it um, fixes the various um, Windows Explorer. Um, what are they called? Well, the Windows Explorer widgets that are used by the program, um, because the program doesn't know how to render the complicated ones that come with the, the arrow styling that Windows 7 has. Um, so the other thing that you can do is you can turn on um, you can turn on the screen resolution and just leave that up. Don't close it, don't change any settings, just leave that up and you'll... Um, I'm not sure exactly what this does but it, it seems to help resolve a lot of color issues. Um, so with all that stuff set, I'm going to go ahead and try to run the game. I don't know how this is going to affect my screen capture. Um, in fact, I think I need to switch my screen to a different layout. Um, so let me try that really quick. Oh, it kind of went away. Okay, there we go. So, um, so I've switched my screen a little bit. Um, you can see I'm still on the desktop. And now I'm going to try to run Warcraft 2. So all I did was double click the icon. And yeah, so it looks like my... Uh, it looks like exploit is rendering it properly, which is good. Um, once you open it, you'll notice there isn't really much sound going on. That is... Well, for me, I'm not actually capturing the sound from the game yet, because I haven't had a chance to go in and make sure the sound is not super loud. Um, but, this is the main menu for the Warcraft 2 Combat Edition, so I'm going to go ahead and click Multiplayer. 
I, I don't believe the Combat Edition comes with anything in the single player section, um, but you can, you should be able to create a custom game if you really wanted to. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go multiplayer and then enhanced. And then this is kind of the connect to stuff menu. Um, here we have the, de the select gateway. Um, here, if you want to connect to the Warcraft 2 server, you can connect it here. There's a backup server. Not 100% sure what those are, just an another server hosted by a member of the community. Probably a couple more backups. Uh, then there's East and West Battle.net. So when you go, um, also Asia and Europe. So when you try to go on to StarCraft Brood War, these are the four ones that you'd want to choose from um, to connect. For us, we're just going to go ahead and connect to the, the Russian server, and we're going to say connect. Now, I already have an account, which you can see here. You can even see my, my cruddy stats on the, on the right here. Um, but since you're more than likely going to be a new user, we're going to go ahead and click new account. Agree to the terms of service, and here you would enter in whatever you want your account name to be. Uh, let's see, what should I be called? We'll say awesome, awesome newbie or something. Um, there aren't too many restrictions on your account name. Um, I think you can put just about any special character in here that you want. Um, maybe not percent, it looks like. But you can do just about anything with your with your account name. Um, I like to keep mine just kind of simple, but yeah. So then you enter in your passwords, and then you would click OK. And I, I believe it directly logs you in. You won't have to log in again after that. But for me, I already have an account, so I'm going to log in with that. And the first place you'll land is on this, and this is kind of the main chat window. Um, you'll, you'll be in a War 2 Battle.net chat room, and these are some people that are logged in. And that's pretty much all you have to do to get into the game. Um, to actually start playing a game, you could find a game in the Join window. You could create your own game here. Or you can just start chatting with people and try to find a game that way. So I want to say, hey guys. And that is just about it. Um, so hopefully you guys found this little tutorial helpful and you'll be able to um, get into the game and start playing. Um, I only have a Windows 7 machine right now, so I can't create a tutorial for Mac and Windows 8. But if you visit this forum.war2.ru, you'll be able to get help getting your computer set up to run Warcraft 2 on whatever operating system you have. So let me know if you have any questions or comments down down below. Make sure to look at the description to get any additional details on the process that I went through to get this set up. Um, and don't forget to visit the forum and ask questions there as well. Alright, well thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the server.